Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Planet X News. This is Scott from the Nibiru channel. It is April 7th, 2017. And over the past month, I kept on mentioning that we were going to be heading into this planetary alignment with the Sun and Venus and also the most powerful planet in our solar system, which is Jupiter. Well, today and tomorrow, we are going to be in what astronomers and scientists call the opposition. And this is going to put the Earth in a complete alignment with Jupiter, Venus, and the Sun. Now, normally you wouldn't think that this would be any type of a problem for us here on Earth. But what I've mentioned before is this planetary alignment is going to create additional situations here on Earth relative to earthquake activity. And the reason being is because Jupiter has a very powerful gravitational force and so does the Earth. Now, Venus really doesn't have a magnetic field. You know, some scientists say that it has a little one and it really doesn't play into this alignment. However, this is going to occur today and throughout tomorrow. Now, you know, scientists only label these two days, but in all actuality, we're not going to be out of the woods for probably several weeks. And I'll show you why I have come to... Uh, this um, this reasoning because we don't move that fast away from Jupiter. So I just want you to take a look at some of the information that I'm uncovering. And right now, this is exactly where Jupiter is, pretty close to the belly of Virgo. Now, I know a lot of you that follow the Bible and that are religious, there are a lot of religious signals from this event. And I've went into that before and I did do a video about it. It's all in Revelations 12. And this has also been talked about with other Planet X researchers that tie in biblical prophecy with Planet X or Nibiru or the Nemesis solar system. And it's very, very interesting information and it's very, very credible information. But I just wanted to point that out to you. Now, you'll be able to see Venus in the, uh, the nighttime sky. And all you have to do is just look east, dusk through nightfall. You'll see Jupiter and you'll see the bright star Spica. And it's going to be very, very bright in the sky, you should be able to see it pretty good with a set of uh, binoculars or even the modest of telescopes. Now, as far as the gravity of Jupiter and the way that it affects every single planet in our solar system to one degree or another, it is strong enough to tear asteroids apart and Jupiter the biggest planet in our solar system, has actually captured many, many moons. I believe 64 moons rotating and orbiting around that large planet. Now, some scientists think that Jupiter destroyed many celestial objects in the ancient past as well as prevented other planets from forming. That's how powerful Jupiter is, and we are going to be directly in its path facing the sun. So the reason why I'm talking about this is because we are already seeing major increases in earthquake activity on this planet. And let's just take a look at it. Right now, we're looking at some of the earthquake activity on the globe as we speak right now. Ladies and gentlemen, look at the state of California. And let's just zoom in here just for a second. 
I mean, the whole entire state is almost covered with earthquake activity, the majority of it all falling along the San Andreas Fault. Now, right up here in Kansas, they had an earthquake, magnitude 3.2. The uh, New Madrid Fault, very, very critical zone, right in Cairo, Illinois, magnitude 2.5. Now, it's nothing to write home about, but it's still an earthquake in an area where we normally don't see activity. Now, you can see bigger earthquakes occurring in Peru, 4.4. 4.3 uh, down there in Chile. Now again, the European earthquakes are not on this map, but uh, right over in Greece, I mean Greece, Turkey, and Italy, that whole Mediterranean zone, very, very active. But I'm gonna be coming out with a complete space weather report within the hour, and all of that information will be detailed, but you can see uh, part of the ring of fire is very, very active. New Zealand, 4.5. They've been getting hit constantly, almost 24 hours a day. In the Fiji Islands, 4.6. Right off the coast of Japan, a 4.7. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, these people and other earthquake areas around the world, you're really, really going to be under the gun. Uh, and it's not going to be for several days. Uh, this planetary alignment just doesn't occur one two three and we're out of the way and i'm going to go ahead and show you and we're just going to go ahead and pull up the uh, solar system scope now this is for today if you look down here at the bottom you'll see april 7th gives you the exact time now we could move this around a little bit and you could see we're not exactly in line with all three planets but we are directly in line with Jupiter. Now, as we move slightly over, oh, no, it doesn't want to work for me. Here we go. Now, you can see it's going to take a couple of days. If you watch the date counter at the bottom, you can see it will take several days to get away from Jupiter. But even though going into the 22nd of April, we are still in alignment. Now, we're not in alignment directly with the sun, but we are still in a direct alignment. Jupiter, Earth, Venus, and this is going to create an additional gravitational tug of war with our planet. As you can see, it's almost perfectly aligned. And as I've mentioned before, going into this spring and the latter part of spring this is going to create a situation with our planet that is going to create additional earthquakes there's absolutely no doubt about it and there you see it jupiter the earth venus and this is going to continue to occur. We'll go ahead and move. Let me just zoom in here just a little bit so this is easier to work. So as we move a little further, and you can see where exactly we're going to be. Now, they say that Jupiter will be in the belly of Virgo, and this story kind of continues all the way through to September 23rd, and once again, the book of Revelation, uh, I believe that's chapter 12, and anybody who follows the Bible, you probably know that verse very, very well. So, just going to warn you, if you live in any of these areas where you have uh, earthquake activity, I mean, just be on the lookout, because as you could already see, Things are really, really starting to pick up as far as earthquake activity. And this has been going on now, ladies and gentlemen, for weeks and months. But I did know that once we moved into uh, this time frame of this planetary alignment, I did figure that things were going to pick up considerably. Now, looking at the European earthquake map, there you go. Look at the activity. The little red dots that you see that's earthquake activity within the past 24 hours. 
the little purple dots that you see there are earthquakes that have occurred in the last hour the last hour so we're going to go ahead and take a look at the european model worldwide map and there you go you can see everything that has occurred in the last 24 hours moving over here to the western edge of south america one two three four five six earthquakes and again there are probably earthquakes that are not listed on this map volcanic activity is also increasing yesterday we had 30 volcanoes that were fully active on this planet and let's just go ahead and take a look at volcano discovery real quick and let's see what's brewing I don't think any of the activity has actually changed, but there you go. This is for April 7th, 2017, and this map just simply shows you all currently erupting volcanoes on this planet. You can go ahead and sit there and count them. It's usually ranging between 30 and 33 volcanoes blowing their tops, and this is actually an elevated level of earthquake activity so once again ladies and gentlemen if you live in any area where you have earthquake activity or volcanic activity please heed the warning make sure you have a preparedness plan you know keep your eyes and your ears open for anything that is going on you want to be able to get out of harm's way or at least have an evacuation plan and a preparedness plan. This is Scott from Planet X News and the Nibiru Channel. Thank you for watching. And ladies and gentlemen, just as a quick reminder, stay updated, stay informed, and stay tuned. I'd also like to take this opportunity to introduce you to one of my affiliates, Food for Liberty. If you are interested in emergency prepping supplies, you can visit Food for Liberty by clicking on the link in the description box. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Nibiru channel and Planet X News for all of your updates. And ladies and gentlemen, it's a great idea to share our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook and Twitter. If you'd like to support Planet X News, you can visit the PayPal link in the description box under the video and visit our website at www.nibiruplanetx2016.com. Thank you for watching.